Yes, uh, London Marathon 2022, and Yahulo, uh, Yamza of Yahulo from Ethiopia, uh, the youngest ever London Marathon champion is our, our women's champion, and Rich Naraka, who was a half decent marathon runner himself a few years back, uh, is helping with the interpreting from America. Thank you, Richard. Um, Richard, as many of you will know, was World Cup champion in about 1842. Was it Richard? What year was it? <laughs> 93. 93, Richard was World Cup champion, so he knows a thing or two about marathon running. Um, Amos, congratulations. Thank you. Um, the biggest win of your career? Yes. <laughs> in your first ever London? Yeah, that's the day in London. Yeah. You must be thinking, this is pretty good, I'll be coming back to London. You looked full of running there, your, your winning time, 2.04.39. You ran a, I think your 24. Fifth mile was 4:21. You look now. You had so much energy. Could you have gone a lot faster if the pace had been quicker? Yes, I think uh, I was ready for it. Yeah, I was ready for that point. You, you finished second in Berlin back in 2018. Third in Tokyo in 2018. Fourth in Valencia in 2020. Second in Tokyo. All these close. Close to winning, but not winning. This must be unbelievably sweet to have this win. Yeah, I think I have been uh, trying to be in uh, one year, but this is the day, and I made it. Yeah. Have you spoken to anybody back home yeah. yet? <laughs> I think um, uh, not yet. Where, where are the family? Are they, are they in Iten or...? or? Uh, family in Kapsabet. In Kapsabet, yeah. Okay. And, and there'll be big celebrations when you get back? Yes, I think, I think so. <laughs> what, what, do you, what will they do to celebrate? Uh, Just a big dinner? Yeah, I think a uh, big dinner. And, uh, yeah, I think a big dinner. And, uh, give a morale to my training partners who still have a lot to do in uh, upcoming races. Yeah. It, it was absolutely fantastic. Well, well done. I mean, that, that, it looked like a tactical race with the way you kicked hard in the last two miles. And yet, 2.04, I mean, another very fast time, and you, you have produced so many fast times. Did it feel relatively easy, because you looked pretty comfortable? Yeah, I think I was, uh, <coughs> I, lastly, I think I trust my training uh, through my coach, Lugio Baradeli, and the uh, entire group uh, of the running club, I think I, I trust it, uh, because it is time to make me to be in a bunch of today. Congratulations, we'll, we'll, we'll open it up to questions very shortly. I just want to have a quick chat with uh, Yamza. Um, now, Yamza speaks very good English, apparently, much better than my Marek, which is not saying a lot, but Richard's just here as insurance. Yamza, congratulations. Youngest ever London champion, only 23. Only her second ever marathon. She won Hamburg back in April, um, and today winning in 2.17.26. However, she uh, has set a world record for 10k on the road. So it's not like she's a, a newbie. Um, and but for uh, a rather special run by Tigis Tasefa last week in Berlin, she would still be Ethiopian record holder from her um, her run in, Berlin, in um, Germany. Um, was that time of Tigis in your mind today? Were you thinking maybe Tigis time from Berlin 2:15? Yeah, I'm so happy with Harold Harazad. Uh, she is a top athlete. Uh, I'm so happy with Harazad. Is that the next target for 2.15? Uh, I will try. I will try to uh, make And you fell at 32 kilometers today. That doesn't help. I mean, to run 2.17, 2.17.26, and you fell. Mm -hmm. But you, you got up very quickly. Did that, was that a problem in your mind, in your head? Uh, no, uh, I don't have a problem. Uh, I was thinking of uh, uh, water station. When I did, I had some feeling uh, here uh, and here. Uh, just uh, with the uh, hands and after such a to Are they Are they sure now? Yeah. They hurt now? Yeah. Something I have. Okay. What are your plans now? Uh, are you, will you sit down with your coach now and figure out what is the next big target? Because to win London, looking so strong, running 2.17, uh, 
2017. You know, the world record is within reach, possibly, for an athlete like you. So young, only two marathons, two wins. Well, uh, the first time we discussed uh, my coach and my manager, questions for our two champions here today. Yes, sure. Yeah, if you could wait for the mic to arrive, thank you very much. A question for him, hello. Um, when did you realise that uh, you are in good shape and why did you attack when you did? Could you have gone earlier? Or did you want to wait to right near the end before striking for home? Now very quick for 40 something.
in my side, I know how to how to I am. I've learned a lot in race, so I think uh, everything was well. In, I organized myself well, and I from the I think I believe in training. That's that's all. I believe in training. Yeah, I believe what my coach given me. I believe, you know, when you have a new team, a team which is pushing you, which is giving you morale, I think supporting you, I think that's a, a huge improvement in me. And this is a, a dedication to my coach because it, he walk, he walk a tireless to wake up every morning to see I'm in a, a good form for this, uh, for this day. You've had second and third and fourth in big races. You're very consistent. You've you've you've, run, you've started this your thirteenth marathon start. You've only failed to finish actually in the Olympic Games last year. But now that you've tasted what it's like to win, you must realise you've got a target on your back now a little bit. And is your thinking right? I don't want to start losing marathons now. I know how to win. It's like you've gone up another level with this this run today. Yeah, uh, that's why I say this, this career is a learning process. You, you fail today, tomorrow you, 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 you make a correction where you fail. But uh, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. Since I started this career, I've learned a lot. And um, I'm, I'm happy because I know where I'm ending. Is, uh, I'm ending somewhere in this career. Yeah. Do you feel quite young as a marathon runner? Do you still feel you've got many more good races in you and good learnings to come and you're you're getting more information all the time you're learning about yourself yes I believe, I believe I have not, okay. yeah. inspiring i guess to see i don't know highly high obviously was racing till to a good age and kennedy said today running till 40. um you must think i've got many more good years of this yet yeah uh, in my side i still have a lot to do in, uh, in sports I have a lot to do in sports, and that's what I am targeting to, to be well fitted for everything coming in sports. Yeah. Okay. Um, any further questions? Yes, Johnny. Uh, yeah, question for Yalamzev. Uh, will you run the World Cross Country in February? Is that something that motivates you? So if you wanted any further background information about their training, uh, I hope I'm not speaking out of turn, but I think uh, I'm sure they could give that to you, as well as some of their management team, they're also here, um, just for additional information for you. Good, thank you, Richard. Sure. And if, and